Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my talk. I'm very happy to introduce integration of Apache Open Meetings and Microsoft Directory and LDAP Server here at ApacheCon Asia 2021. First, I will talk a little bit about what Open Meeting is. Then I will analyze the details of configuration files of the integration of uh, MS AD and uh, LDAP server with the uh, Apache Open Meetings. Then I will discuss the details of uh, integration file. Finally, I will talk a little bit about uh, Open Meetings, log files, and the uh, code segments which I believe are very important to integration work. At the end of the talk, I will show you specific steps of configuration and a demo will be run. Okay, then let's uh, start. How to integrate LDAP and Active Directory with Apache Open Meetings? Uh, here's uh, some information about myself. I am a software engineering fund of a startup. Also, I'm a personal former member of Kai Yuan Se, a very famous open source community in China. Introduction to Apache Open Meetings. So what is Apache Open Meetings? Maybe you heard the name before. It's an open source online conference tool. Apache Open Meetings provides video conferencing, instant message, whiteboard, collaborative document editing, and other groupware tools using API functions of the streaming media server, Red5 or Grantle for remoting and streaming. There are a lot of remote working tools during COVID-19 pandemic period. I only mention a few of them, such as Zoom, WebEx, Microsoft Teams, and Tencent Meeting. OM is the only open sourced and fully web browsed based tool which means that anybody, you can just open your favorite browser and type the URL and register. Then you can log in the system to use the conference tool. After you log in the system, you will see a dashboard. Then just simply click the enter the conference, then choose the conference room. You can start your video conference online. And you can record your sessions. Even you can schedule a meeting and the calendar. Apache Open Meetings offers more integration options. It can be integrated with LDAP and Active Directory to grant domain users login the system by domain username and password for security purpose. It can be integrated with the SOAP REST API, OAuth2, VLIP, and C. It can also be integrated with the Google Calendar. Even it can be integrated with an external video camera. Microsoft Active Directory versus Apache Open Meetings. Uh, my configuration of integration is based on the following features. Local test machine, I installed OM3 on CentOS 7, which uh, has two CPUs, 4 GB RAM, 128 GB hard disk. My AD server is running on Windows Server 2019, which has two CPUs, 4 GB RAM, and 30 GB hard disk. Then I installed OM3 on CentOS 
7.6 in product environment, which has one CPU, one gigabyte RAM, and an eight gigabyte hard disk. Both remote servers are EC2 virtual machines running on Amazon Web Service. Microsoft Active Directory Basics. Active Directory is the best idea tool to manage computers and uh, network assets. Understand Active Directory structure. Here we need to remember some important concepts. First one is AD domains. A domain is an area of network organized by single authentication database. Active Directory domains are controlled by a tool called the Domain Controller. AD forests. Active Directory forests are the highest level of security boundary for network objects in the Active Directory and the forest structure. And AD versus, versus domain. So what's the relationship between AD forest and domain? Enterprise networks with hundreds of users and thousands of network entities might have dozens and dozens of active directories. Within this active directory hierarchy, an AD forest is considered the most important logic container. Here, please take a look on the tree view structure of my AD server. At the top is the forest, and below is my domain name. And for in the tree, at the bottom, you can see there is a CS branch, which is an organization unit. It has two departments here and the two entries. Here we need to clarify four important concepts. The first one is DN, which means a distinct name. This usually refers to the name that uniquely identifies an entry in the directory. The second one, DC, which means domain component. This refers to each component of the domain. For example, www.google.com will be written as following. And the third one, OU, which means organization unit. This refers to the organization unit or sometimes the user group that the user is in. And the last one, CN, which means common name. This refers to the individual object, person's name, meeting room, receipt room, etc. And uh, there is an example. As an uh, administrator distinct name, which I will be used in the configuration file. And here is the network topology of my configuration. Uh, you can see it's very straightforward. When a client opens a browser to send requests to the Apache Open Meetings, then Apache Open Meetings will set up a two way communication with the Active Directory or Apache Directory server. It will pass the search query to the directory, and if find an entry in the directory, then we'll send the data back to the Apache of Meetings. Then grant the user login to the system. And for the database server, you can install either on the same server as uh, Apache Open Meetings or a separate database server. So what do you need to configure Apple Meetings and uh, MS AD? First of all, be sure that the Win 2019 Server AD surface is running and working properly. So you need to set up a web server and install LDAP clients. For different OS, the command is a little bit different. After you set up your LDAP client software, now you can use uh, LDAP search command to test the query, or even you can use uh, two GUI tools. The one is the LDAP browser, and the other is Apache Directory Studio. 
For both the GUI tools, you need to install Java Virtual Machine. Okay, let me uh, show you the command. LDAP search dash x dash h for the host IP dash p means port as three a nine for the directory server dash d that's the distinction name of my administrator dash b means uh, the search base and the dash w uppercase means you need to enter password. Now let's enter the password. Okay, you can see search result success and uh, it returns nine entries, which means uh, already successful search the whole entries in my organization unit. That's uh, CAS underscore branch, right? It has uh, nine entries there. And uh, let's go to uh, that browser. We disconnect the connection here. Then we try to reconnect. You can use, uh, I got several, several configuration files here. You can use uh, any of them. For example, the first one, base DN, that's your search base and your, your common name to log in. This one, you use uh, the whole domain as your search base and they use the administrate distinct name to log in. And also you can use a uh, common name, administrator as login name for the search base keep the same. Okay, let's connect. Then you'll see returned all the entries in my Active Directory server. And then let's go take a look what uh, is inside the CS branch. I get several entries here, right? Okay. For this one, please take a look. There is one attribute called user principal name wiu liu at hulancloud.com uh, and then the second one is uh, same account name wiu for those two strings i will use as uh, search queries in my configuration And uh, let's go check the This is a patch direct studio, the other GUI too, which uh, is very convenient and uh, very useful. For example, I got a two LDAP connection here. The first is the remote ID and the second is the remote directory server. And see, go inside, see how you branch. Okay. It's the column, right? Okay. And we can check the second one remote. You can see here we get item entries for the entry Tom Quest and the reading brush. I will. Using as the test login name. Okay. Running a little bit slow here. Stop click, and uh, you can verify current password here. Password. 
verified successful and even you can change it to a new password. After you do the search, you can even use import and export command to export data and backup data. For example, under Windows PowerShell, you can use LDIFDE command to output your whole records on the Active Directory server. And later on, if you want to do backup, you just use LDIFDE command dash I dash A for option output dot ADF to backup all your records in your Active Directory server. And what is the content of a configuration file? This configuration file is pivotal for the integration. It is uh, installed with the uh, Open Meetings software in the default path. Certainly, you need to install database, install utilities, and install Crento Media Server or Red 5. Tomcat web server is bounded with the deliverable, so you do not need to install it separately. And please keep in mind there is one important key you need to add in the configuration that is LDAP config path for different uh, open meetings version. You need to set a different path, just a little bit different, right? For OM3 and OM6. Oh, okay, let's uh, take a look at the details of the configuration file. First, you need to set IP address and port, and then LDAP admin distinct name, distinct name, which I mentioned before in the trivial of my Active Directory server, right? And uh, put the password, admin password here, and a search base. And for the field names, it can differ between LDAP servers. Here I use the either user principal name or same account name as the search query. Be careful the C style string input, which is a percentage symbol and for the small case A. Then for add search scope, you need to put a subtree, which means uh, we we'll search the whole tree. For the LDAP author type, in AD, Microsoft AD directory, you need to use search and bind. The simple bind didn't work here. But for directory server, you can either use search bind and small bind. I'll explain it later. Apache direct server versus Apache Open Meetings integration. The configuration is bought on the following features. Uh, I installed a uh, Apache Direct Server 2.7, 2. Two point on CentOS 7, which uh, has uh, one CPU, one gigabyte RAM, eight gigabyte hard disk, and I also installed OM6 on Ubuntu 18.04, which has two CPU, four gigabyte RAM, twelve gigabyte hard disk. It is a product environment, both. Remote servers are EC2 virtual machines running on Amazon Web Surface. And for the configuration file, it's almost the same as the AD configuration, but uh, just to change some values. For example, IP address and port here, you need to change from 389 to 1039. And uh, admin distinct name. You need to change the UID equals admin OU ecosystem. That's a default uh, distinction name in Active Direct Server. So how can we know this? You should uh, read the menu, or even you can check your LDAP Studio. Let's go back to my. To do right here, you can see UID admin is here, right? Distinction name UID equals admin all your existing. Okay, 
and put password here default is uh, secret in your search base for the field name here you need to change to the field names which are used in directory server and for the search code use the same subtree which means search the whole tree now you can use uh, for the adapt author tab you can use a simple band but uh, keep in mind if you use simple band then you need to uh, define the user domain format as following and LDAP provision just keep the original value that's auto correct for the rest of the configuration file you can keep the same content okay here uh, i got uh, two open meetings log files one is uh, from m3 and the other is from uh, om6 there is one error message show the invalid login provided how this happened and uh, for the om6 every time when you see get by login authenticated to login domain which means uh, Bank successful. LDAP login manager Java. In OM3, the class name is LDAP login management Java. Almost the same logic. When, every time when I use login the open meetings by domain, then the system will call the class call the method use login then check if you have uh, invalid login name otherwise log file will show error message invalid login provided and then your program will initialize some value go to switch statement to check if you are uh, also type is uh, search band or simple band and uh, please look code segment in VS code I right hear you can see every time the user login what we'll call the user dot valid login to check if you provide a valid login name. If not, just show error message and return log value. Of that, if you provide log valid login name, then your program will go to check what's the band method. Switch case statement here if we you are uh, LDAP author tab, you search and bind, then your program will call the map search and bind. If you use simple band, just uh, use your uh, login and uh, use distinct name, bind the directory. And then please go check the method search and bind which uh, you need some value and use your uh, based in and search query as a parameters to search your record and database. If successfully found one entry, then the where loop will execute at least once, which will give you a warm message refer a depth entry file ignored. So in my configuration, every time when I saw this value in the doc file, then I know I successfully went to the directory server. For the valid login method in user.java, it was written a Boolean value, which means that either you empty your login name or your login name learn less than the minimum requirement then you will get a system error message so that's the reason in my log file of uh, OM3 I entered the 
invalid login name. Forget about login, just use the login name, type and domain ID2 as the parameter to search the Active Directory. And congratulations, congratulations, uh, you've done. Let's uh, show you the specific steps in the configuration. Okay, let's uh, open my favorite browser here. I like to use uh, Firefox. That's Go inside. Oops. Firstly, you need to use the admin admin account login system to change some configuration. Go to configuration page. And uh, make sure you already add this key, LDAP config pass. The value is pointed to your configuration file. And then go to LDAP configuration page. You can see here, I got two domains. One is foreign cloud and the other is foreign cloud. And the first one, uh, I use, uh, use a principal name as the search query. The second one, I use a uh, same account name as search query. Now let's uh, delete. Okay. Then anything changed here will take effect immediately. Go dashboard, go lock up. Now you see here, you got no drop box. And we go dashboard. Go add that. And we add two domains here. First one, Poland Cloud. You need to enable the domain. And for config name, just type AD OM Delta configure. Because this configuration, we use the uh, user principal link as the search query. So here you need a domain to the username, which is uh, oops, .com. and uh, we add the second one. Cloud enable set the uh, config file name is uh, ad o m dot same, which means I use uh, same account name. And here, do not uh, check this save. Okay, let's log out and test. First domain, which means I use the user prism lane. Okay. 
I got login and already Chinese localized. And log out. Try use the same login name. That's the same domain, but this time didn't work. So let's go back, check log file. And uh, okay. check the arrow. Oh, too many errors here. Okay, this one. Invalid login provide. Okay, this is the latest in invalid login. Invalid login. Uh, I'll go back to the bottom file and search again. Cinematic. You might log in provided, right? Which means I enter invalid login name. So I need to change the password, to, uh, need to change the login name policy here. So go inside, use uh, admin. Go to configuration and uh, find that the Use login minimum names. Change the value from four to three. Save it. Log out. And uh, just login again. Now uh, it works. Yeah, we're well done. Thanks. Okay, let's go back check OM3. Uh, this is OM3. Let's go back check OM6 integration with the directory server. Yeah. We use uh, request. And uh, we use uh, set domain directory, which is uh, search and bank.
Okay, we got in. Hello, time quest. Wait down. Knock out. And the ID is the two integration web server IP address here. Please uh, uh, take a little bit of time to play around. And then that's all for my talk today. Any questions? Here are my contact information. And thank you very much.